Let's skip the great offense last night and then shut out here today. Just what were their pitchers doing to keep you guys off balance? Yeah, a lot of weak contact. Um, I thought uh, Heaney threw his uh, fastball in for strikes um, really well today and uh, was effective with the slider as well. So just kept us off balance and a lot of weak contact on the ground. A um, couple guys had some good at-bats. Uh, Yuli had some good at-bats today, but overall just struggled to get the ball off the ground. In the sixth inning there, when it looked like you guys were starting to get something going, the first two runners on, and Solaire hits ball 110 miles per hour. Just how deflating is that line drive into a double play? When you're on a streak like this, those plays happen. Um, I haven't seen a play like that ever in my uh, big league career. Um, and it so happens that, you know, it's a double play of all things as well. Can't just hit off the glove and bounce somewhere else. And that's kind of how it's been going for us lately. Um, yeah, tough. We had the right guys up, middle of the order, um, starting putting pressure on them. Bell follows up with a hit, of course. Um, and, uh, yeah, just kind of going that way right now for us. So we got to. We got to figure out um, how to mix things up. Um, it's up to me and the staff to figure it out because the players are going about it the right way. I mean, they're prepping the right way. They're working hard. This is not a um, lack of preparation or lack of effort on their part. This is up to uh, me and my staff to figure this thing out for them and, and help them out and um, change things up if we need to change things up. But um, you know, that's that's what we're paid to do and and to. Um, and get things right. In a situation like this where you said it feels like just nothing's really going your way, I mean, how do you, you stop like, the frustrations maybe from mounting? Uh, there's frustrations in there. You can feel it in the clubhouse. You can feel it in the dugout. Um, you can feel it in the uh, inside that clubhouse, you know, whether it's it's never before the game. I mean, everyone feels like this is going to turn. Um, you know, you hear them talking in the, in the dugout and in the clubhouse and everybody's got the right mindset headed into the game. We just haven't bro broke through yet. Um, so I think there's some encouraging things happening, but we got to start winning some games. We know that. They know that. Um, and uh, it, we're, we're, we'll get there. Sandy today, similar. Lazaro has a lot of strikeouts, but three home runs end up doing them in. Yeah, I didn't walk anybody, but he, there's some sliders that, that hurt him. Um, there's no doubt. And, but I thought he, he pitched effective and um, just a couple uh, – balls that he threw maybe a little higher than he wanted or more middle of the plate especially those sliders um and you know that lineup is pretty good and they slug and they slug here um and they took advantage of a couple of those but overall um six innings seven strikeouts no walks um i don't feel like the, the balls were hit hard today it was, it was um you know we were a little sloppy maybe in some areas but um but i think you know overall he he did his job um i think that just a couple hanging pitches uh, hurt him when you say change things up, is it less baseball related and more like maybe like getting guys' minds off of it being, like, you know, like, I don't know how to explain it, almost like a Yeah, there's, thing. there's, uh, you try to find certain things to do to, to not make it the same thing every single day and come in and same meeting, same reports, same ground ball routine, same fly ball routine, same batting practice. Um, you know, our, our staff is going to try to figure out, you know, different ways to mix it up. And, um, you know, that's, you know, we can't keep doing the same thing, you know, over and over again. Nothing changes, nothing changes. And so we got to we got to do something different as a staff. Um, the, again, the players are going about it the right way. This is, um, you know, they're playing hard. They're out early uh, working. Um, individualized stuff um, you know we're putting together plans as best we can to to help them succeed and um, so I just I got to start pressing the right buttons and, uh, and and we'll this thing will turn tomorrow are you ready to announce your starter for tomorrow are they announced okay sure who is it <laughs> um, yeah tomorrow obviously we're we're excited to have Yuri back uh, tomorrow and um, you know we uh, we're looking forward to maybe him sparking us. I don't want to put too much pressure on a 20-year-old. Um, you know, we have to monitor him still. Also, he's on his way back. And, but I, I, st I don't want him to feel like he has to be the hero either. Um, that's a lot of pressure to put on a 20-year-old. Uh, but I, I like my chances, obviously, with him. And um, it feels, you know, hopefully we'll see what jazz is all about. But we'd like to have our full strength uh, for once, uh, which would be nice, um, full team back, and, and see what happens. And is there any further update on Jazz? No further update yet. And just, I guess, Reds are also kind of scuffling a bit now. Just the importance, obviously, every game we've talked about is important, but just three games set against a club that directly competing with for that race. Yeah, not an easy place to play. Um, a lot of young superstars over there. Uh, Joey Votto is a Hall of Famer, in my opinion. So it's going to be a, a really tough series for us. And, um, you know, we got to start 
I think uh, hopefully win game one, I think will be a really good start for, for that series. But yeah, just because they're struggling doesn't mean they're, that's not a good team. Just because we're struggling doesn't mean we're not a good team. You know, we're just hitting, uh, maybe both hitting a little funk right now. Um, but I, I think we're we're as dangerous as anybody. We just gotta we just gotta get one or two wins in a row and and feel good about ourselves again because I we know we're good. Um, we just gotta figure out how to get in that win column. Sandy, this Rangers lineup made you work just right off the bat. I think they had 22 foul balls off of you. Just what is the most challenging part about navigating a lineup like this? Uh, first of all, I want to say thanks, God, for keeping me home from the game. Um, you said it, you know what I mean? Since the first day that we get here, you know, they've been very aggressive against us, you know, not just against me, but I think against every pitcher, you know what I mean? I think we try our best, you know, but we fell. For you personally, no walks, uh, the seven strikeouts. We did give up the three home runs. Just how would you sub, sum up your outing here today? Uh, really bad, you know, really bad because, I mean, we lost, you know. We got sweet by then today, you know, so everybody's feel bad. But we got to do everything we can do to get on track, like, before, like, where we are before the break, you know. So I think we're good, you know. We just got to keep believing ourselves. Personally, on the mound, just how did you feel about your stuff and, and, and your performance? Uh, I can say I don't feel great about it, you know, but I feel good, you know, because I was able to compete, you know. I was able to give 16 to my team, you know, and I don't feel, like, great about it. But, I mean, I feel good because I'm healthy. Skip mentioned the slider specifically. Maybe he was elevating a little more than you wanted. Would you agree with that? Uh, every time when I throw my slider, you know, I don't know what happened, but, I mean, it's up in the middle. So, but, I mean, it's part of the game, you know. One day you want to have your best stuff, you know, your best location, but today it wasn't for me. You mentioned 